So as you can tell by the weather outside, usually if it's too hot, this could max out up to 700 watts of power during the daytime. Good day and my hapon sa tanan. So for today's video, I would like to share with you the three-year review of my grid tie inverter setup. So this is just a simple grid tie system uh, that was installed nearly for over almost three years from now. So it started around 2018 and this is how the system or the <clears throat> physical uh, setup of the grid tie inverter system. So this is how the grid tie uh, system is being set up at the wall. So first we'll, we'll take a look at this one. This is the 1000 watts grid tie inverter with a DC input of 20 to 45 volts DC and an output of 230 volts maximum with 170 to 160 volts as an AC output. So, the grid tie inverter system is is a, is a solar solar power system which does not include uh, any battery. So, maybe I'll discuss later why did I choose to set up a grid tie inverter system. So, let's just run through the system. So, this is the grid tie inverter system. It's here are the inputs coming from the solar panels so later we'll show you how many panels are being installed at the rooftop so this is the <clears throat> solar panel outputs which is the input of the DC inverter grid tie inverter on the panel board here is just a very simple one so this one is the digital multimeter which indicates voltage current and the power uh, power produced by the system so this one is the total current produced in a period of time so from the solar panel it be, it has a DC breaker with a maximum of 40 amps DC uh, breaker system so this is just a very simple setup then here, after the DC component, we have now here the output, which is the 220 volts uh, AC output that is being fed to the utility system. So any power converted here will be used and will, will be the one to be used for to supply and an, an as an additional input or an addi additional power that will be used inside the house so this one is the utility outlet here and this one right here is the smart plug so the smart plugs uh, monitors the voltage also current and how much kilowatt hour is being produced by the system so this is just a smart plug system that you can use to monitor over your phone. So this is similar with this one but this one is has a digital uh, output as well here through its panel. So that's it. This is just a simple grid tie system. So as we continue here after the breaker you can see here there are two wires here this, that is being placed inside a plastic molding and that is wired throughout the rooftop right there so later we'll show you the panels at the rooftop so let me just uh, check here with you the readings so as of now it has 
produce uh, 340 watts of power that is being consumed by the house with an output of 227 volts at 1.6 amperes so that is how much power that the Brita inverter has produced So as you can tell by the weather outside, usually if it's too hot, this could max out up to 700 watts of power during the daytime. Since outside is really cloudy, as you can see here, it's quite cloudy and it's only producing that much of power just 300 watts and the panels if you go through with the wirings it is installed over at the rooftop right there so we'll see later if the weather permits and we can climb up so that we can show you the panels So for this grid tie inverter uh, system, we had already replaced the two fans. I guess the, the fans uh, lifespan would only last for about a year. So I have already replaced both of the fans here just to cool down the system. In a given day which, which uh, having a very hot uh, weather, Usually this side here of the inverter system is very very hot. <laughs> I just don't have a thermal gun so now to check on how hot the inverter is really. So this is just a very cheap uh, Chinese brand grid inverter that has already been used for over a year. So this is the second grid tie inverter system that they have installed since the first one was damaged just after a year. Maybe because of the setup that I was, that I was putting it into. I was putting water bottles here and drip it upside to cool down the system. I guess water seeps into at the back which damaged the grid tie inverter. So maybe we can do something else later on how to cool down the system further. Okay. So this is how the panels are set up on the rooftop. They are uh, aligned up in parallel. So these are 4 by 275 watts that are connected in parallel. So all of these panels are facing south with approximately a 15 degree angle. And let me show you the 360 degree view from the top. As you can see there's uh, no uh, this obstructions somewhere. So it's a clear view from the top. And they are all mounted using the brackets provided that you can use at the railings of your roof mounting. So later we will show you the complete diagram for this setup and check this out on the later part. Okay.